we're overcrowded. The Camden County Correctional Facility inmate population jumped significantly over the last year. The jail capacity is 1,267. Today, the institution's filled with about 1,500 inmates. Warden David Owens thinks there's a number of contributing factors, including a growing and aggressive police force. The Camden County Police Department has tripled its size since May of 2013. Officials say with more police on the ground, arrests have reached a record high last year, 11,000. Owens insists the economy is another factor. What we're seeing now is uh, if individuals don't have the money, they can't bail themselves out. So that's why I say the economy. Our experience is if they don't get out within three days, they're not getting out. Well, these are people who are basically here for thousand dollars bail. The county continues to hire more officers who are now on 12 hour shifts along with national consultants and additional staffers to handle paperwork. The correctional facilities instituting a program that will accelerate the intake process at police headquarters and Owen says the institutions become more aggressive with their work release and intervention programs for nonviolent inmates with minor offenses. For those individuals we have an intervention program that allows us to supervise them, keep an eye on them, but they don't have to be incarcerated. It costs taxpayers $107 a day per inmate. An average stay here is about 30 days. That's $3,210 an inmate. Overcrowded institutions are expensive institutions. I'm a law enforcement officer. I want to see bad guys locked up, but only lock up those individuals who need to be locked up. It's not just inmate costs. As a result of a 2009 class action lawsuit, the Camden County Correctional Facility is required to submit their inmate population regularly to a federal judge. And more recently, inmates filed lawsuits due to overcrowding. If we can manage our population and manage it at a, a good number, then that keeps down the lawsuits. 17% of the inmate population here is mentally ill. Working with health care providers to transition these inmates into facilities and out of jail should be another focus, says Owens. Still, the warden expects the inmate population to climb slightly over the next four to five months because of the growing number of new police officers on the street. But long term, he also expects to see a drop in the population because of the Bail Reform Act Governor Christie just signed into law. In Camden, I'm Lauren Wonko, NJTV News.